Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. How to be a mentor. Think about that. A mentor. It's the desire to succeed that makes a person need a mentor. I mean, trying to succeed is an overwhelming proposition sometimes, you know, and and it keeps people awake at night. The desire to do better, despite the most earnest effort and best intentions, most people need help when they are faced with such challenges. And that's where a mentor comes in handy. Uh, When you think about it, you probably have found someone to act as your mentor. Okay, Uh, maybe it was your boss. Maybe it was uh, a professor in college. Maybe it was a friend. Maybe it was a relative. But this person provided advice and they helped you navigate the trials and tribulations in maybe starting your career, uh, maybe learning a new craft. Okay, someone has helped you. You have had mentors even when you didn't realize that that was their title. So you might say to yourself, where do I start? How can I become a mentor? Well, mentoring often begins uh, in an educational environment, maybe with a fellow student. You may be further along than they are, so so you help them, okay? Um, Depending on the goals of the mentoring relationship, the mentor and the mentee, they don't even have to be in the same industry. You know, I mean, you might help somebody in something that you've never done before, but you have the ability to learn it quicker than they do. And now you're teaching them what you learned. Okay, so being a mentor and then having a mentee can happen in all types of situations and it can happen in different fields and it can happen in different interests. So in other words, you may be mentoring somebody in something that you didn't even have knowledge in, but you acquired it and then you became their mentor. And in the end, both sides succeed. Okay, both sides succeed when they follow through. You as the mentor, you follow through by making sure that that mentee is doing what you ask them to do, and they uh, follow through by following through, by doing what you ask them to do. So um, when you put both of these things together, it makes the relationship a successful one. You have to have the ability and the willingness to communicate what you know, okay? You have to be willing to communicate what you know, right? It's one thing to know what you're doing, and it's entirely another thing to be able to explain it to someone else, to be able to explain it to a mentee, all right? So you have to be able to communicate, and you have to be willing to communicate. You have to be willing to communicate this to the mentee. You have to guide them. You have to give them strategies. You have to have a desire to communicate. The next thing you need to do is be prepared. Being a mentor means making an important, serious commitment to someone so that you give your mentee the the respect that he or she deserves. All right. And the way you do that is that you're prepared. You truly know what it is that you're teaching them. All right. You you know the subject that you're teaching them. Um, You know the topic. You know the subject. You know this beforehand before you agree to be their mentor. You're imparting your details in an effective way. Okay, the details that you have learned, you're imparting this in an effective way that gets through to the mentee. 
and really helps them. So now you are a prepared mentor. And we'll be right back after this message. This is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting, including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalisbury.com, in the store section. As a mentor, you have to make the mentee comfortable with the advice or the consultation that you are giving them. He or she must really understand and be comfortable with what you're saying to them. And if they are, then they will be open to listening. So you have to make sure that things are comfortable so that they are willing to listen. You have to be approachable whenever they need you. You need to be there or you need to set up times that you can be there and you need to be available. So when you get with this person, Don't just be there. Truly be listening to what they have to say because it's a cross-communication. It's interaction, okay? It's asking questions and getting answers. It's giving answers and getting more questions. It's communication, and you have to have the ability to listen. You have to be honest. Any questions that aren't addressed can lead to concerns and problems. So you owe it to your mentee to be candid and straightforward with him or her, all right? So whatever they're asking you, you need to be honest about it. And if it's something you don't know, that's okay, all right? Because you're being honest. And not only are you being honest, but you're being diplomatic with your honesty. Sometimes, even though we're honest, we have to be diplomatic, meaning that you need to uh, break something down. If there is something that may hurt the feelings of your mentee, you need to Uh, Be honest about it, but deliver it in a way that is diplomatic, okay? You need to be inquisitive. I'll tell you why. When you are inquisitive and you ask them why they are asking you a question, that really helps. That really helps. When you ask them why they seek this knowledge from you as a mentor, that really helps. You are being inquisitive. You want to know why they want to know what they want to know. Be fair. Remember, mentoring is different from a friendship. You don't necessarily have to socialize with your mentee. As a mentor, you are truly just teaching them. You're trying to help them learn something. But it doesn't mean that after the lesson is done that you have to hang out with them. You don't owe them anything outside of your mentorship. But you have to be fair in that you are there at the times that you said you would be. At the allotted times that you have agreed to be there to mentor them, you have to be fair and honor that. You have to offer guidance. You have to be compassionate about what it is that your mentee is after. You have to be compassionate about delivering. And who knows? You may even learn from the experience. A mentee will be able to see if you're not really compassionate about what you're teaching them. They will see right through it. And you don't want that. You want to be specific about the goal. You want to be selfless. And you want to share yourself to the fullest to give them everything that they need to accomplish the goal that they're trying to accomplish. The bottom line is this. There is no simple definition for what makes a good mentor, nor is there a single guide for becoming one. But if you want to be a good mentor, draw upon your existing skills and successes, but also be ready to learn and listen. Remember that mentoring is not a one-way street and that a successful mentoring relationship will provide lasting benefits for both parties. When you were growing up and you had a mentor, It was something that was positive for both of you. You were happy to be learning from your mentor, and your mentor was really happy to be teaching you. I encourage each and every one of you to become a mentor. Search for a variety of programs in your community and and connect with them about volunteering. A great mentor can play an important role in the life of a kid, in the life of an adult, in the life of anyone who is looking to succeed. 
Serving as a mentor brings many challenges and rewards. If well done, the long-term impact of mentoring can offer life and career-changing benefits, I've said this before, to both parties. So we here at Success Talks urge you to go out and become a source of wisdom and support to someone who deserves it and to someone who needs you. Remember, someone out there right now needs you to be a mentor to change their life. So go out and find someone to mentor today. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalsbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts, where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success, right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Change.